Hi, I'm Erin Daly, and I'm speaking with you today from Roper Mountain Science Center, and we are in the Sims Hall of Science. And today we're going to talk about matter. And when we talk about matter, we talk about solids and we talk about liquids. Those are some ways that we can talk about matter. Um, with solids, we're talking about things that, kind of like this table, that keep their same shape. So in my beaker, I've got all kinds of objects. Um, this is like a little block. Now think about if I dump this on the table, what are all of these things going to look like? Um, let's see. Okay, so my block, did it keep the same shape? It sure did. So when we talk about solids, we're talking about objects that will keep their shape even if we pour them from one place to another. Okay, so that's solids. Now, we also have liquids. So, Right here, I have a liquid. This is just water with food coloring. And right now, it's in a container that is kind of triangular. So it has that shape now. This is about 500 milliliters of water. If I pour it into this container, think in your head what shape it's going to make. Okay, so made kind of a big cylinder type of shape. Now we're gonna pour it into this third container. Think in your head, like what shape do you think our liquid's gonna make when we go into this third container? Okay, so we can see our liquid is taking the shape of its container. Now it's kind of a thinner cylinder. It's kind of like a little rocket ship. Awesome, okay, so we've got our solids, we've got our liquids. Now it turns out that we can actually turn solids into liquids. You probably already knew this, but if you think about ice, this is just regular ice like you have in your freezer, um, we can turn ice into a liquid just by adding heat to it. So if I take some of my ice and put it into a beaker and then put it onto some heat, the heat from that, um, from that burner is going to move into the ice and cause it to melt. Um, and so right now it's a solid, it's keeping the same shape, but as it warms up, you'll notice that it starts to turn into a liquid and eventually it will take the shape of that container. Okay, so we saw our ice melt into water. Um, now let's look at another section. So right here, I have these things. Probably know what these are, these are crayons. Um, let's think about what state of matter they're in right now. Um, are they solid or are they liquid? Let's see if they keep their shape. They do. So those are some solid crayons. Um, let's see if we can melt them by adding heat. So I'm gonna take a couple of my crayons that have the paper peeled off and put them into my beaker. And we're gonna add some heat and see what happens. I'm gonna do one more. All right, now. Turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna have to All right, so now my crayons have melted. So I'm gonna move them over and I'm gonna pour them into a mold. And so now that they're liquid, they're gonna take the shape, the little puzzle piece shape. Okay, and then if we're gonna leave that sitting there for a little while. Okay, all right, now we've got one more cool thing to show you. Um, so we have this. You can see that it's a metal. Um, this is called gallium and it's a solid. So um, we've got our solid and I'm going to put it in this very hot water. We're gonna see what happens. And I'm gonna poke it. So you can see the gallium is turning from a solid 
into a liquid in there. It's melting in the hot water. Let's check on our crayons from earlier. Um, so remember we melted them and we poured them into this mold. So I'm gonna fit, try to gently peel this back. And so when it was a liquid, it took the shape of its container, but now as it cooled down, it turned back into a solid again. So now we have a crayon puzzle piece. Okay, so let's review what we've talked about so far today. We talked about matter, we talked about how it could be a solid, we talked about how it could be a liquid and how a solid keeps its shape, but a liquid changes its shape based on its container. Um, and we saw some things melt, we melted some crayons, we melted some metal. Um, now, I want you to kind of look around your own house. Can you find two solids that you did not see in this video? And what about liquids? Can you find two liquids that are not water in your house? All right, good luck.